Hey now, this is Michelle Scott with the Peaceful Quilter. I am back. Um, if you haven't seen my other videos, which I do suggest you go back and take a look, I'm doing a series of YouTube videos just with information, different techniques, um, and more specifically today, uh, certain fabrics from Northcott. Um, we're here in uh, sunny and scenic New Jersey. It's summer. I don't know what when you're watching this or what time you're watching it. But I'm um, actually I'm a teacher in real life. Um, I'm a school teacher, so I'm living the dream this summer and thought I'd get another video out to you um, showing these great fabrics from Northcott. It's from Deborah Edwards Ambience Artist, Artist and Spirit Collection. Actually, it's the Artist and Spirit Ambi Ambience, 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 it's one of them, collection. And it's a whole series of beautiful textures, but the great feature of this collection is what it's called No Sew Circles. And what it is is a piece of fabric that has the circles printed right on the fabric. It has all the elements of the collection in circles. So today what we're going to do is a really fast and easy quilt. It's up on the screen right now. I'm going to show you how to make that and you can make it in no time with fusing. That's the technique we're going to learn, we're going to learn today. I'm going to teach you a little bit about fusing. And we're also going to incorporate not just the no sew circles but the stripper fabric. Um, the last video I called it strip R, strip R. No, it's stripper. It's strip and then R together, but I have an incredibly low IQ, so I'm doing the best as I can with what I got. Um, so we're gonna be using the stripper fabric, which is from the Ambience Collection also. And you can see it comes in uh, six beautiful colorways. You got Twilight, you got Violet, you got Tahitian Sun, you've got uh, Lagoon, Emerald Isle, and uh, Hibiscus. And they're beautiful colors, and there's a whole collection that goes with it. But all we're working today with is the um, no sew circles and the stripper fabric. So let's get started with this great, fun project. Okay, my favorite thing in the world to do is to fuse because it's an easy way to get fabrics onto another fabric. And that's what fusing is, is when it's pretty much gluing a piece of fabric onto another fabric. Um, there's all kinds of fusibles out there, but my favorite is what's called soft fuse. Um, it comes in rolls, it also comes in sheets. It's very thin, it's very lightweight. It must be sewn down. Um, you can layer it, um, it moves freely. I really enjoy working with this fusible. Now, um, everything I'm telling you today, the pattern, the fusible, is available on my website. I have, a, on my website, there's a link called Free Patterns. If you go to the Free Patterns, that will give you an outline on how to do this. Because I'm gonna go through this real quick. You don't, quickly. You don't need um, to write anything down. Just go to the website, go to Free Patterns, and Pinwheel Picnic will be up there and it will give you the full directions to this project and also give you a list of fusibles. So you may not want to use this fuse. I, I highly recommend it though. It's the, the best on the market and it's all that I use. But that's what we're going to be using for this project. We're going to be fusing those no-sew circles from Northcott. Um, it's such an, in, 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 um, such an innovative new fabric. Um, we're fusing them onto the background of another um, fabric of the Ambience Collection, which is just more of a model kind of background fabric. Um, so the first thing you're going to do, every time I do a fusing project, I make the entire background first. I make the entire top first. Then I fuse all of my pieces onto it um, after I layer and baste. So what you can see here is the top already complete. And again, it's in the directions on my website. I don't need to give you exact requirements, but all you're doing, and these are speed strip R fabrics. That's all they are. They look like they're pieced. It's such a great tool. Um, and I took it took maybe, I don't know, half an hour to cut and to sew the strips onto this border. Very, very easy. Again, it's an um, ambience twilight background, just a basic background, and it's the strip R, the series of strip R fabrics uh, surrounding it on the border. Very easy. Uh, they are five and a half by the sides are ten and a half and the top is twelve and a quarter. Again, it's in the direction. So that's the first part of the project is that you completely do the top. You completely sew the top. Um, if you notice here, it, you can see that there are iron lines going through the middle horizontally and vertically. That's going to help us with placement when we're done. That will give you a center to where you where you know where the center in the middle is and the center um, center going lengthwise and the center going widthwise. So you know exactly where the center is and that'll help you place all of your stuff. So let me show you how to uh, fuse the uh, Northcott No Sew Circles. 
Okay, so our top is done with our stripper fabric, and we're gonna get ready our um, no sew circles with the um, Northcott Ambience um, Artisan Spirit Artisan Spirit Ambience. It's it's all backwards. It's I'm on summer mode. I'm on summer mode. I can't I can't get my th thoughts together. But anyway, so we're gonna do we have our fusible. Like I said I like the soft fuse. Um, and there's two sides to fuse. Well, there's like a nubby side, a hard side, and there's a paper side. Normally, you are tracing images, and then you put them on the back of the fabric. With this, no circles, the no sew circles do the job for you. So I have my, and the nubby side always goes to the back of the fabric. What's great about this project is that um, there's six fabrics all together. We only use five. We only use the colors because we're putting it all on a black background. I love dynamic colors on a black background. One of my favorite things. Uh, but the great part about this project is you only need like a quarter yard of the no-sew circles. So you need to cut, and, and it's in the directions. I think it's like four of three colors and two of two, uh, and three of two colors, whatever, it's in the directions. But I know for purple, I need six circles. And I need three with a dark center, and then I need three with a light center. Now they are entwined here, so I just wanna make sure I get these three. So I'm gonna turn this over. I got my, um, already it's like a cooking show, it's already. I'm gonna turn this over and I'm going to, and you can see it from the back, I'm going to fuse the nubby side to the back of the fabric. Try not to get the fusible over, because it'll get on whatever it is. Now again, this is low budget, low production, so I don't have a ironing board set up or anything like that. Just gonna do it here on my table. Um, people say steam or no steam. I like steam, I always like steam. I may be wrong. People may be sitting at home going, no, you don't use steam. Yeah, well I do. So there that is. So I have ironed fusible to the back of three of the no sew circles with the and dark now I'm in the going middle. to fuse um, three with the light circles. And I have that ready. Turn it over. You can see clearly that's where the light circles are. I'm going to iron my fusible nubby side to the back of the fabric. And I'm going to iron that down and get that all ready. You can see I'm covering it all. All right, it's all fused again. Little steam, cause I'm steamy. All right, um, so let's take these to. Um, we'll bring a cutting board over here, and I'll show you how to cut out the circles. Okay, so you can see how fast this is going. So next, what we're doing is we are cutting out the circles. Um, from the fabric that has the fusible on the back of it. You can do it the old fashioned way with scissors. And you can see right where you're going. Go around. Go around, cut them. This um, is a great project and it's not only good for this collection, for the Ambience collection. Um, Northcott's coming out with lots of other collections with no sew circles. And they have a collection called Quilts of Valor. And I put together a mock-up with the Quilts of Valor fabric that's coming up on the screen right now. And that I think I may be putting together as a kit as well just because it's such a dynamic quilt and perfect for those of us who are patriotic. Um, so there you go. Cut out. Now, there's another way you can do it. I found this really cool compass cutter. This will make it go super fast. Uh, I actually have all the other circles cut out already um, because it's like a cook. you got to get everything ready ahead of time. Well, I, actually, I'm using the wrong pronoun. I didn't get them together. Sweetie got them together. He uh, cut them and cut them in half for me. Very quickly, it took. You use this compass cutter. It's what it's called. It's Ulfa. You can find it at any sewing machine shop. You can find it online. I'm all about online. I don't like to leave the house ever. Um, this is a little bit more tricky. Not really, but you just have to find the center of your circle. So just get a ruler. And they're six inches, so you put a dot right at the six inch, a three inch spot, put a dot, three inch spot, you can go from the back. Okay, right there is the center. So right there, that's where my center goes. I make sure it's long enough. I have to take this out of my mouth because I'm so professional. All right, got it set. All right, and you just, now you may go a little bit inside the circle, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. It will not show at all. There you go. Pull it from the thing. I need to change my blade because I did a ton of these. So it's a little bit. And then there you go. Done. And cut.
cut them right in half. There you go. And there you go. Again, on my website has a complete direction for this quilt, so you'll know how many of each circle um, and which colorways and all that. So now you have all of your circles, all, well I do, have all the circles cut out of the circle and cut in half. You remove the paper and that then now your fabric is ready to be fused course this isn't going to work so you know what you do when it does when that happens you just do this score it a little bit on the back paper comes right off there you go paper comes right off it should come right off anyway sometimes you have to score it score there you go and we will go onto the quilt and we'll place them on the quilt. Okay, so I have my piece top all together. Now at this point, I would be um, layering it with a um, batting and a backing. That's how I like to put my fusibles on. Um, but for, for right now, it, it doesn't matter. You don't have to. Uh, it, it's six of one, half of another. It, it's all what you prefer. I like to have my batting and backing on when I'm fusing my fabrics onto my background. But my background's all ready, and this is where those um, vertical and horizontal um, press lines, seams, not lines, not seams, they're lines, the pressing um, lines come in handy because it shows you where the absolute center is. So I would work center out. So I went from the top and I um, placed my orange half circles all around. You want to be making an X is what you want to do. You need to be making an X with the ends of the circle. So I have my one in, I put the other, I put the purple. Um, what you want to do, if you're that kind of perfectionist, you can even use a ruler and just kind of see, make sure they're all lined up. Well, I like where the blue one is placed here. I feel like the orange is a little bit too high, so I'm going to move it down a little bit. Uh, a good question is, Sweetie just asked me, now are these overlapping or are they not overlapping? I would say yes to overlapping, definitely. So that you don't have any gaps when you're machine quilting. So you bring that down, bring this over a little bit, because I want about an inch from each from each one from here. Now this one isn't up high enough. So do your arranging to how you like it. Then go down to the next one, go down to the next row, and you can see there's the center there, so you can't go over there. Maybe bring this up a little bit. So I don't want it to be touching that third row that goes down overlapped a little bit all right and according to my directions then it's a pink one that goes in so you just place it next to the green one as so and you can follow that's what I'm doing I'm following my picture you can follow the pattern that I'll have available on my site so you can see the placement of all of them and this one goes there and then this one goes oh my, this one goes here. When you are all set and ready to go and you like where everything is, I would pin it. Um, this is a pretty large quilt. It's actually, it's like 46 by 51. It's a pretty large quilt. Um, you can't really take all of this to the ironing board at this point. I pin it. I would pin each one and then take it to the ironing board and then iron your fusibles down and they are ready to go. If you aren't already layered with a base, uh, with a um, batting and a backing, you can do that then, and you will machine quilt this. Um, normally, I would just use like an invisible thread and go all, go all over. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of invisible thread. Invisible thread. I'm not sure. Sure, I'm going to do that. I think I may do a, like a black rayon for the background, and Aurifil uh, 12 weight cottons are the best. So I think I may use a you know orange for the orange, blue for the blue and the hibiscus for the hibiscus. Um, I think I'm going to do that with it. If you need help with, if you need some tips and tricks for machine quilting, there is another YouTube video up on my site that um, kind of guides you a little bit through bobbin quilting. I also have a book available called Bobbin Quilting and Fusing Fun. Um, don't let the title scare you. It is not just bobbin quilting, it, quilting. It's a real machine quilting primer that can get you started with uh, machine quilting. Um, if you are not real familiar, then by all means, do the whole thing in a visible thread. That way, no one can notice any mistakes. 
Okay, you can see now how fast you can make a beautiful quilt with Northcott's No So Circle collections. Um, they don't just have it with the Artist and Spirit Ambience collection, or Ambience collection, I don't know how to say it. Um, but now you can see uh, all the great things you can make, but if you go to the Northcott's website, and there's a video up there, uh, the lovely and talented Patty Carey will show you lots and lots of different patterns using these circles. So go sh be sure to check that out. Again, um, I will have this on my site as a free pattern if you like it as a kit. If you want to buy this kit, it will be available on my website. Uh, for, I think it's like $34 or something like that. You can't beat it for a quilt this size, 46 by 51, I believe it is. Um, if you like my video, go check out my other ones. Make sure you view them, you like them. If you're a YouTube subscriber, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see everything that I have coming out. If there's something you want to see, if there's a certain pattern you'd like to see me do um, up close and personal, be sure to uh, email me or just uh, comment on one of the videos. I'll be happy to put one together for you because that's just the kind of person I am. I keep giving back to the people, to the quilters of our community. Um, so thanks a lot for joining me and I hope to see you around town.